In this video, we'll look at the vibrance adjustment. Now, um, there is a saturation adjustment, which we'll mention as well here. The vibrance is sort of a smart saturation. Um, if you use the saturation adjustment, it will affect all the colors, whereas with the vibrance one, it will sort of um, choose the colors that need um, um, sort of brightening and avoid sort of trying to change all the colors there, right? I guess as vibrance is a more subtle and effective than just the saturation uh, adjustment, the vibrance selectively enhances the colors that are desaturated, but leaves the ones that are already close to saturation being, you know, it won't, it won't adjust those ones there. Um, I guess, I guess what the idea with saturation is that colors kind of have a, a level, right? And so um, simplistically sort of thinking about it, um, if you think about red, uh, red will have a variation from zero all the way up to 255 with zero being basically no red or being no red, it is no red, and then working your way up to 255. Um, the reason for 255, a little bit beyond the scope of this course, but there's eight bits that represent it. So we have 255 poss 256 possibilities from zero to 255. And if you saturate it, then you're sort of extending that all the way out to 255 and making it as red as it could possibly be. All right, so we'll take a little look at this one. It's pretty straightforward here, but we'll see how the difference with this one. So they've got a nice picture of flowers, which I think we saw before. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna to go to Photoshop. I'm gonna open it up and paste it. And so, again, not a bad picture, but we want the colors to sort of pop here. So again, in our adjustments, we are gonna come over here and <laughs> it's a little tricky which one is which here. It kind of looks like a V, that's why it's vibrance there. Um, but again, if you come down to here, you can sort of look through and find the vibrance. And so if I click on that guy, okay, just two sliders, so nothing too fancy here, um, but let me just saturate it. So if I pull this up, and maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saturate this one and I'll, I won't go too crazy, but I'll, I'll do a pretty high saturation on that. So that sort of, you can see, it's, I mean, it's given a lot more color. Yeah, not probably what you want overall, but you know, it, it is more colorful. I'll leave that layer there. I'll add another one and then where we'll do the vibrance. And so now instead of grabbing uh, the saturation one, I'll do the one above and I'm gonna pull up the, uh, the vibrance. Now what you'll notice right away is even if I max it out, okay, the picture looks a lot better. <laughs> I guess in a way you can think of it is it's just helpful, right, for beginners to use just the saturation, or sorry, use the vibrance and leave the saturation alone because you're going to get, you know, unless you want vibrant day glow colors um, for everything, the vibrance is probably going to do a better job. And even with it cranked up to 100, I don't think it's overly, um, you know, I don't think it's excessive. It might be a little bit on the bright side, but definitely... You know, if I was to look at those two, I think this is the better picture. It's got a lot more color to it. Um, you know, you could, like I said, crank it down a little bit, uh, bring it down a little bit, and uh, probably look a little bit better, but you definitely have more color. And then comparatively, right, whereas this one um, on the vibr, or sorry, I guess this one, right, where I had done the saturation, eh, it, and it wasn't even full, right, it just looks not very good. And if I, even if I dial it back, it's still, I mean, you've got more color for sure, but it just sort of seems a little bit too much. So let me just make sure. Might have had both on there. So that's with saturation. Now it's a little bit tricky because I've got to turn that one. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to turn that on and that off. And you can see, right, that this is a bit more subtle. So really that's what we're dealing with, right, is the saturation selectively enhances the colors, um, but doesn't sort of blow everything out. And in fact, it's almost impossible to blow the colors. When I say blow the colors, I mean sort of max out so that it's full 255, basically. So there's no more color to give. It sort of, um, you know, does it a little bit more, I guess, in sort of natural. All right. So that's the idea. So you can use the vibrance um, um, adjustment layer to give your pictures some more colors and again like I said that's under the adjustments kind of looks like a little bit of a V there 
and um, it does let you do the saturation as well. Other tools do let you do saturation as well. Uh, which one is it? There's a color hue adjustment. Where was it there? Black and white color, hue saturation. So this hue saturation one um, also has a saturation layer whew, where we can uh, pull up the colors. And actually that's, you know, when I start doing this, you see how some of them just sort of max out. You're basically, you've reached maximum level there. It can't get any bluer. Um, yeah, so obviously, um, that's a little bit excessive, but that's another way to ac access the saturation. But if you're really just trying to pull out those colors, um, you're probably your best bet for your uh, adjustment layer would be the vibrance one there. Okay, and avoid trying to just do it with the saturation. All right, good, nice short one there. Um, there is, I think, another little video or little image here where you can you can try it. Okay. And then, you know, look around, try to find some other one that you could sort of enhance by um, um, using the um, Vibrance tool, Vibrance adjustment layer. All right. Goodbye.